We're back! What is up guys and welcome to the third episode in this Five Friday series. This is a series on YouTube that I do every Friday where I give you five pieces of information relating to fitness. Now this can come in the form of exercises, tips, advice, and pretty much anything. I mean you have to tune in every Friday to find out. In last week's video, I went over five reasons that you're not losing weight. And seeing as it's coming to summer, let's get in there relatively soon, I decided to stay on that trend. And in this week's video, I'm going to give you five, re five tips on how to increase weight loss. Or speed up weight loss, if you're not already doing so. So, without further ado, and as always, cue the intro and let's get into it. Tip number one, be more active. Now this isn't as obvious as you may think. Being active can be more than just going to the gym, hitting up a weight or cardio session and then leaving. Not everyone has access or time to go to the gym. Some people do their exercises at home, but again, if you have children, you don't have time to do that. So something as simple as going for a walk or taking the dog for a walk, if you have one, if you have a family, going on weekend hikes. This is especially important if you have a desk job and you find yourself working 9 till 5 the majority of the day sitting down. For you people especially, and anyone in general, just implementing these slight variations to stuff you're doing anyway, choosing the healthy or alternative of, of stuff. So if you go to the supermarket, take the stairs instead of the lift. If you find yourself driving to the shop and the shop's two minutes away, walk. Again, all of these things over a month's period do add up and if you're slightly lacking on your weight loss and you want something to speed it up, rather than dropping your calories or increasing your cardio, just implement these steps. Tip number two is drink more of that H2O. So despite the countless health benefits that drinking water has for us, despite the fact that it makes up 70% of our body, not a lot of people realise that water is one of the best natural appetite, suppress appetite suppressants you can get. If you are someone who doesn't drink water regularly and constantly finds yourself hungry throughout the whole entire day, it could be down to the fact that you may slightly be dehydrated. So start your day off right, get your ass out of bed, get it into that kitchen and get yourself a pint of water. Trust me, starting off your day drinking at least 16 ounces of water is going to benefit you greatly. I personally find that it helps stave off cravings in the morning, which is when I mostly get them. And not only that, it gives me a sense of accomplishment. I've actually done something in the mornings, even if it is to just drink water. Tip number three is meal prep or plan your meals in advance. Now picture this. You've spent the whole day sticking to your diet. You've been to the gym, you've had a kick-ass session, and now you're on your way home. You get home to find whoever you live with has ordered takeout. Whether that's Chinese, pizza, doesn't matter. They've got shit food in the house. Now as soon as you get in, you are starving. And they offer you some. You and your better judgement say no. No, I'm gonna stick to my diet. Go into the kitchen and you start making yourself some food. And then shit hits the fan. 25 minutes later, you find yourself sitting on the sofa with a mouthful of chicken balls, a plate full of prawn toast, chips, and Chinese chow mein. And you think, fuck. My diet's done. For the day at least. Now guys, I'm speaking from personal experience. This has happened to me on a shit ton of occasions. And despite my better judgement and my willpower, when you're hungry, you're hungry. There's nothing you can do about it. And cravings kick in and we start to listen to them cravings. And this is why it's so important to either plan our meals in advance or get them ready for when we get in. Now you don't need to plan your meals throughout the whole entire day or prepare your meals for the whole entire day. Just as long as you have a meal prepared so when you get in and that temptation is there, you have your meal. So there's no chance of you being swayed by your cravings in eating a Domino's or some Chinese food, you've got your meal, okay? So be smart and prepare for this shit, because it will happen. Tip number four, don't ban certain type of foods from your diet. 
Now I think a lot of reason people screw up and mess up on their diets or they don't stick to it or if they do it's only for a few weeks is because we're under the impression that to get lean or to lose weight we need to eat foods like rice, chicken, vegetables, all of the boring foods and completely cut out foods we enjoy. And I mean you can do that, you'll lose weight, but for me, someone who personally loves eating that type of food, I find it boring sometimes and it's unsustainable. Now I went over this in my last video in a slight bit more detail, but to summarise, no food, or no certain type of food, will make you gain weight. You will gain weight by consuming more calories than you are expending, regardless of what that comes from. Whether, it's co whether it comes from whole foods, or whether it comes from junk food, you'll gain weight if you eat more than you expend. So knowing that, you can manipulate your calories in order to fit foods that you enjoy it. So you can fit in your Pop-Tarts, your donuts, your ice cream, your cakes just as long as it's within reason and within your calories. Now this is also known as flexible dieting. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's basically what I've just suggested. Having any type of food that fits within your macros, whether it's whole food or junk food. You can find a bunch of videos about flexible dieting on YouTube. I'm going to link one video in the description box below by one of my favourite YouTubers, Matty Fisaro, who does a brilliant five minute video on the explanation of flexible dieting. Now if you're someone that has banned junk food from your diet in fear of gaining weight, go watch that video and then start incorporating flexible dieting into your day to day routine. And the final tip, tip number five. Don't go shopping when you're hungry. Guys, we are all human. We all give in to our cravings at some point, but I think the worst place to do that is in a supermarket or in a shop and you're starving and you are surrounded by cakes, chocolate, Pop-Tarts, donuts, everything. And trust me, I found myself walking through Tesco's on an empty stomach and picking up the double stuffed Oreo bis biscuits. They're on offer for 54p. Now if you're not from England, that's a fucking steal, and you'll be a fool not to buy them, but you'll also be a fool, because if you eat them, you go over on your macros, and then you gain weight. It's a catch-22. What do you do? How do you get around this? Don't fucking go to the shop when you're hungry. That's how you get around it. Now guys, all jokes aside, if you are going to go shopping, and do your weekly or monthly shop, and you haven't had a meal, and you are someone who eats very bad cravings, and like me, your willpower can sometimes be shady. It's important to make sure we prepare for this stuff. Just like meal prepping, either have a meal beforehand, something high in carbs, and, or relatively high in carbs and fat, to give you that what, bit of a sweet tooth. Um, or take some food with you, whether it's a protein bar, whether it's a ready-made meal that you've prepared earlier, just anything so that as soon as the hunger comes up in a store, you can quickly whack out a protein bar or have a meal beforehand and completely avoid snacking on a pack of Oreos. Trust me, just do it. And that's it for this week's episode. I've given you five tips on how to speed up weight loss or lose weight even faster than what you're already doing. Um, there's not much I ask for in return. Now guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this Friday's episode. I genuinely hope you have taken something away from this that you didn't already know. And I will see you next Friday for another five Friday's episode. Peace!